Hi, welcome to Theory of Computation. In this video lecture, let's discuss about some samples of final state machines. The first example is that we need to design a DFA to accept the language L which has the set of strings W that belongs to the binary strings such that W is of even length and it begins with 0, 1. So, with every machine we have a starting state. So, let that be Q0 that comes from nowhere, right? And that string should start with 0, 1. So, we have to track this 0 followed by 1 in succession. So, we have Q0 accepting 0 and it comes to Q1. When we come to Q1, we have ensured that we have seen 1, 0. And from Q1, if I see another 1, we come to Q2. Q, when we reach Q2, we ensure that we have seen 0, 1 consecutively. We are now interested in the binary string that starts with 0, 1 and it has even length. And if you see this string 0, 1, this is of length 2 and this 2 is a even number. So, Q2 can be the final state and this is a, I mean, it's a string that starts with 0, 1 and its length is 2. So, Q2 will act as the final state. Thus, we denote Q2 with double circle which will indicate that Q2 is the accepting state. Now, we have to ensure that all the transitions are defined. From Q0, if we receive 0, we go to Q1. What happens if I receive a 1 from Q0 that we haven't defined? Similarly, we have to define for Q1 and Q2. What happens from Q1 if I get a 0 that we haven't yet defined? And from Q2, if I receive 0 or 1, where should I go? That is also not defined. Let's define these transitions now. From the starting state Q0, if we receive the first symbol as 1, then we know that this string starting with 1 is not a member of the intended language because all the string in L will start with 0, 1. If it starts with 1, then it is not a member of this one. Okay, So, we will design a sync node which is Q3 in our case. So, once we reach Q3, we will not go out of this Q3. Note that there is no link or arc going out of Q3. Once we reach Q3, any number of zeros or ones that we get, we will just redirect back to Q3 itself. Similarly, when I reach Q1, after receiving 0 from Q0, from Q1, if we receive a 0, then the string will be 0, 0 instead of 0, 1 in the beginning. So, in that case also, the string will not be a member of L. So, we will redirect to the sync node Q3. And from Q2, if we receive 0 or 1, we have to ensure that we maintain the even length. When we reach Q2, we know that we have even length. 0 followed by 1 is of length 2. Now, from Q2, if I receive a 0 or 1, we have to ensure that it is of even length. So, from Q2, if I get 0 or 1, we will have a new state Q3. So, when I reach Q3, my string has 0, 1 in the beginning. But now it is of odd length. Now we have to make sure that only even length is accepted. From Q3, if we receive one more symbol, either 0 or 1, then we can go back to Q2 because we now have even length string that is starting with 0, 1. So this is our machine. Now let's see whether it is working 
as per our expectation. Let us consider this input. The input pointer is here. We have not started uh, scanning the input and we scan the input from left to right. So, before we scan anything, our machine will be in the starting state which is Q0. So, from Q0, we see the first input which is 0. From Q0, if we get a 0, we go to Q1. From Q1, if we receive 1, which is the next input symbol, we go to Q2. From Q2, we scan the next input, which is 1, and we use this transition to move to Q3. From Q3, we scan the input 0 and come back to Q2. From Q2, we accept one more 0 and we move to Q3. From Q3, we accept this 0 and move back to Q2. From Q2, we accept this 1 and then we move to Q3. After this 1, we have terminated the input. When the input is terminated, the machine is at the state Q3. That means that it is a non-accepting state. Q3 is a non-accepting state because we don't have a double circle here. That means that the machine has halted in a non-accepting state. That means that this string does not belong to the language L. Suppose if we do not have this one, then we would have landed or halted in Q2. Or otherwise, if the string has started with 1 or the beginning is 0, 0 and after that if we receive anything, we would have been just in Q3. Sorry for this mistake. Uh, either you should label this as Q4 or this as Q4. There cannot be two states with the same name. Sorry for this mistake. So, at the end of the string, if we land in Q2, then that will be a member of this language. Any other string, okay, or the string for which it is halting in any other state other than Q2 will, will be a non-member of this language. The next example is we have to design a DFA for accepting the set of strings over the symbol A whose length is divisible by 3. So let us consider the samples of this language. Null string is a member of this language. Why? Because the length is 0 and 0 mod 3 is equal to 0. So it is a um, member of this language or this is a valid string in this language and the next string which is valid is a a a so the length is 3 3 mod 3 is uh, 0 again so it is a member and 6 a is together or 9 a is together etc okay all these are members of this language now let us design the dfa let q not be the initial state since null string is a member of the language the starting state will be the final state as well because null string means nothing right you don't accept anything but still it is a member that means that when you are in the starting state and you don't accept anything that is the representation of the accepting null state so we the starting state and the final state will be the same which is Q0 in this case. And from Q0 if you get 1A then we move to a new state Q1 which will count keep the count that it has seen 1A. And then from Q1 if you get another A we go to Q2 this means that we have counted A twice. From Q2, if you get another A, we move back to Q0 because we have seen three A's 
so it is 3 mod 3 equal to 0 so we ba move back to the accepting state and if there are 6 a's we will trace this path twice for 9 a's we will trace this path thrice and so on so this is a very simple uh, machine that would accept the strings over a whose length is divisible by 3. The next problem is to design the DFA to accept the set of all strings over a, b, c having b, c, a as a substring. Since we wanted to trap this b, c, a, let us uh, have a initial state q0. From q0, I am just tracking b which is the beginning of this substring. So fr from q0, if I get a b, I go to q1. From q1, if I get a c, then we will go to q2. That means that we have seen b, c together. From q2, if I get a a, that means that we have seen this uh, substring b, c, a. And b, uh, as soon as we see the substring b, c, a, we know that anything that is following this or we have preceding this BCA is a valid string over this language. So Q3 will be the final state. But the machine is not complete because we have to uh, say what happens when I get a A or C from Q0. From Q1 if I get a A or B what happens and from Q2 if I get a uh, B or C what happens and from Q3 what happens if I get A, B and C. From Q0 if we get A or C then we, we cannot track this B, C, A yet. Okay? We haven't seen any Bs. So we, we have to still move back to Q0 waiting for the first B to occur which we try to interpret as the beginning of the substring. So if you get anything other than B then we can just go back to Q0 waiting for the B. With Q0 now we have defined all the three transitions that are required. Okay, For A we move back to Q0, for B we move to Q1 and for C we move back to Q0. From Q1, if we get a B, that means that our substring is broken. I have seen a B and then now I have seen a A. That means that we have seen B A, which, is, which has broken this substring B C A. So I have to move back to Q0 so that I uh, track B C A again. The B that we have seen earlier is not not in this substring B C A. It is not part of this substring. Okay, we have B A. So we just move back to Q naught. And if I get from Q one B, okay, there can be any number of Bs, and the last B would be the beginning of this. Might be the beginning of this substring B C A. So we just move back to Q1 for B and for C we move to Q2. So for Q1 also we have defined all the three transitions. From Q1 if I get a A we go to Q0. From Q1 if we get a B we move back to Q1. And from Q1 if I get a C we move to Q2. From Q2 if we see a A we move to Q3. If we have a B then we have we have seen like b c b now so again we have broken this but this b could be the beginning of the substring b c a again so we move to q1 so that we get, form the substring b c a like this b c a using this path okay b c a okay so we move to q1 for b and if we get a C, then we have completely broken this. Okay, B, we have seen the substring B, C, C now. So we move to the beginning, uh, which is Q0, so that we track B, C, A. So for Q2 also, we have defined all the three 
uh, transitions uh, from q2 we move to q3 for a and for b we move to q1 and from q2 if we get a c we move to q0 once we have tracked this substring bca then whatever string that we get okay in terms of a b or c that string is accepted so q3 will act as the accepting state and this dfa will accept any string which has bca as substring you can check it with some sample this problem is just an extension of the previous problem we have uh, the set of all strings over the alphabets a b c in which we are trying to track the substring a b c but also it should occur even number of times so we should have the substring a b c and the substring occurrence should be even number of times okay so let's define some of the members of this language null string is a member of this language why because the length of i mean here we don't have a b c but the number of occurrences of a b c is zero and zero is even number so uh, epsilon is also a member of this language and a b c a b c we have two times a b c so two is again a even number but it is not necessary that a b c a b c should occur together i can have anything in between a b c or preceding it succeeding it anything but the count of a b c should be even that's all and here we have four times again i insist that this a b c is only the substring should be consecutive this it, it the substring can have any prefix or suffix and we should have even number of a b c so we'll have a starting state q not and since epsilon is a member of the language q not acts as the final state as well so we have a double circle and the starting state is indicated by the arrow from nowhere as explained in the previous problem if i we are tracking only a b c so if i get a b or c from q not i just move back to q not and if i get a a we move to q1 from q1 if i get many a's the last a would be the beginning of the substring a b c so we will just move back to q1 if we get a b then we are trying to see b a b in in succession so we move to a different state q2 if i get a c then we go to q0 because we have to start seeing the substring a b c from q2 if we get a a then i can go back to q1 so that i see a b c like this so if i get a b then we i have to go back to q0 so that i see a b c in this fashion a b c and if we get a c we form a new state so from q3 if i get any b or c then i can have any number of times occurring occurrence of b or c and it goes back to q3 because we have seen a b c once we have to see for even number of times so if i see one more time a b c then we can simply have a cycle which will ensure that i have even number of a b c in this substrings a b c as substrings in the strings from the language from q3 if we get b or c we move back to q3 because we are not bothered about b or c from q3 if we see a this would be the beginning of a b c for the second time okay for the even number of time okay so we move to a new state q4 from from q4 
if we see many number of a's okay this la last occurrence of a will be the beginning of a b c and from q4 if we see a b then we have seen a b together for the second time or the even number of times and if we get a c i have to trace back the c a b c uh, for the second time so we move to q3 from q5 if we get a a then we could get the second substring a b c like this so we move back to q4 if we get a b we move to q3 so that we can track a b c using uh, the arc from q3 to q4 and then q4 to q5 and then q5 to q0 and if we get a c then we go to the final state because we have ensured that a b c is occurring twice if we wanted to ensure that it is occurring for four times we will we will trace this path twice and so on this is the dfa that will accept the substring a b c and it occurs even number of times in the strings of the language this is an interesting problem we are now to design a dfa that would accept uh, the binary strings such that a w is divisible by 3 it's not the length of w we wanted to uh, divide w by 3 I mean check whether w is divisible by 3 so let's uh, take some sample suppose the input is 0 0 mod 3 is 0 so it is divisible by 3 and if we get a 1 then we 1 mod 3 is 1 so the remainder is 1 which is not divisible by 3 so if we when we start let's have the starting state as q0 and if we get any number of zeros okay it is going to come back to 0 because if we have 0 0 0 0 then also it is simply 0 so I mean say for example I have three zeros in uh, consecutive and nothing else okay this is the string that means that this is actually a zero in decimal so zero mod three is again zero so we just move back to the same state and q naught will act as the final state because uh, we have you know zero mod three is zero that means that zero is divisible by three so q naught will act as the final state and when we get one as input from q naught we move to a new state q1 which will indicate that the remainder of the division by 3 is 1. Now this uh, diagram is incomplete. We have defined the transition for 0 and 1 only for Q0. What happens if I get a 0 or 1 in, from Q1? Okay. To do that, we will extend the input and see what happens. Okay. Now the input, we have two bits. 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now let's see okay so for 0 0 we know that we'll go back to q naught for 0 for 0 i will go back to q naught from q naught and for this one from q naught we will go to q1 so this two is very similar to this one and when we get a 1 0 from q naught if i get a 1 we will go to q1 and from q1 if we get a 0 okay it is actually decimal 2 and 2 mod 3 is 2 so we go to a new state q2 which will represent the remainder 2 so it goes here and when we get a, a 1 1 as input from q0 we go to q1 and from q1 we go back to q0 why because the remainder is 0 and uh, q0 represent the uh, state which uh, which has uh, the remainder to be 0 again the diagram is not complete because uh, we haven't defined the transition for q1 
cube 2. To work out that let us extend the input to 3 bits and uh, we have seen how the machine works for all the 3 all the 4 inputs because the first bit is only 0 and we will still remain in a Q0 and these 4 combinations we have seen already and when we get a 1 as the first bit we go to Q1 and if we get a 0 from there we go to Q2 okay and from Q2 if we get a 0 it is decimal 4 1 0 0 is decimal 4 and the remainder uh, by division 3 is actually 1 so we go back to Q0 because Q sorry Q1 which represents the state uh, with the remainder 1 and if we get 1 0 1 we from Q0 we come here 1 0 and 1 we will stay here in Q2 itself because the remainder is 2 here and so now all the transitions are complete now check for 1 1 1 what happens ok 1 from Q0 we take this arc and come to Q1 and then we from Q1 we go back to Q0 and then again we come to Q1 and when the string terminates uh, it is a non accepting state uh, because it represents the remainder 1 and that is what we have here as well. So it is not a member of the language whereas if you take 110 we from Q0 we go to Q1 and from Q1 we go back to uh, Q0 and then from Q0 we go back to Q0 for 0 and this is a string which is valid in this language. Now we will check whether the machine that we have designed works for some arbitrary input. To start with the machine will be in the starting state which is Q0 and the machine reads the first input which is 0 and it goes back to the same state Q0. From Q0 we read this input 1 and take this transition and move to Q1. From Q1 we read this input 1 and we go to Q0 because till the string it is uh, 3 decimal 3 and it is divisible by 3 and we have correctly landed in Q0. From Q0 we read this 1 and come to Q1. From Q1 we read this uh, 0 in the input and we take this arc and come to Q2. From Q2 we read the input 0 or take this arc and transit to Q1. From Q1 we read the input 1 and go back to 0 and with this the input terminates and when the input is terminated the machine halts in Q0 that means that the string is a member of this uh, language here that means that th this number represents a number in decimal that is divisible by 3 let us check whether it is really divisible by 3 or not just convert this binary number to decimal so we have to just add on these uh, red colored ones because these are the uh, weights that corresponding to ones in the binary string. So 32 plus 16 is 48, 48 plus 8 is uh, 56 and then plus 1 is 57. And we know that 57 is divisible by 3 and it is equal to 19. So this is a valid string in this language. You can check out for a number which is not divisible by 3 and you can verify that it will the machine will land in any one of this uh, Q1 or Q2 when it is not divisible by 3. In the next video lecture we will discuss about 
non-deterministic finite state machines. Thank you for watching this video.